Here we are at Everest ER. It's the highest emergency room in the world, situated at Everest Base Camp. It's at altitude of 17,600 feet. My name's Natasha Burley. I'm an anesthesiologist from Scotland, and this is my first season working at Everest Base Camp. So we're working here on a moving glacier at night. You hear it cracking underneath your tent, rockfall, avalanches. And so to have a tent like this behind us, which is pretty much one of the most solid structures we have here, is invaluable. This season we have about 298 people attempting to climb Everest. So far we've evacuated in the region of 25 people. The big majority of things we see are upper and lower respiratory tract infections and followed closely by GI problems or stomach problems. They might seem pretty simple things but they can have a massive impact on a, a mountaineer's ability to climb the mountain. Up here the weather can change in a moment. Uh, we have hailstorms, snowstorms, we've had a few days with really high winds. Uh, having a tent like this with a nice metal structure certainly makes me feel safer at work. It has to be able to withstand avalanches. We have several in a 24-hour period. We've had two this season that have come up to almost touch our tent. And last year, there was a large earthquake followed by several avalanches. The tent was implicit in saving some of the lives of the doctors who worked here. It was broken, but it didn't get flattened, and it still had enough room inside to provide shelter and save the lives of the people that were still within it. Weatherport have been fantastic this year. They've not only replaced our tent, but they've improved our tent. It's made our facility even better than it was before and a larger capacity. So we're grateful for the ongoing support of Weatherport.